is official. Welcome to Taking the Credit episode number 33 and our very first outdoor experience. Welcome to the backyard. Your hands are really dry and that's all I can focus on right now. Oh wow, yeah. (laughs) Well, they've been dry for months, so what can I do? What else can I do, babe? Cut them off. What do you want from me? Cut off the hands. What do you want from me? Oh, God, she's so cute. Yes, she is. It is my wife, myself, our sweet, sweet pup, and we're just hanging out in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> if you mean, like, hanging out as in we've I've been sitting out here while you prepare, and then that's the only reason <laughs> we've been outside. Kirsten has been hanging out while I've been working hard (laughs) to create a production for our fans. (laughs) And that was bold, putting an S at the end of fans. Yeah. Well, I know two for sure, right? Yeah. (laughs) It is a couple. Jesse and Bailey, shout out to you guys. Our number ones. Yeah. Uh, So why are we outside? We are outside. And there are clippers in front of me because today is the day that Kirsten oh. cuts <laughs> my hair. That's so greasy. <laughs> I have haven't showered you, today. You haven't showered today? No. Oh, that's hilarious. So you're gonna you're gonna uh, cut my hair again today. This will be the second time that Kirsten has cut hair, and the second time that Kirsten has cut my hair. Uh, one time being, er, I think, early to mid March. Yeah. And uh, yeah, now it's that was early actually May. while you that was before they even shut down the yeah. the hair salons and stuff that I did it for you, which is kind of funny. We prepared for the quarantine before the quarantine oh. happened. So, so <laughs> peasy. Babe, I worked out this morning. Uh, <laughs> it was humid. I'm not obviously I'm not clean, but this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> sorry, is this bothering you? A little bit. Oh. You're way too focused. Sorry, sorry. There. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so I'm so used to having my head shaved bald, and it, well, not completely bald, but buzzed as short as possible. And it's been like that for like eight years, I think. Mm-hmm. It had been like that. And Kirsten was ready to see a little bit of hair on her husband's head. That's so. when I lived in Broomfield. And you still, you tried the first time around and you didn't get mm-hmm. past a certain point and then you ended up shaving it. Well, you agreed. I mean, that yeah, was when no, we were doing jujitsu and we were like. Might as well shave it anyways. At that that in between stage, it, it just looks like you're, um, I don't know. You said I looked more mean with it shaved. Than yeah. With like, yeah. Like more angry and just yeah. unapproachable. But it's weird when it gets to that like strange length where it's in between super short and where it is closer to now. I guess like when it's just, yeah. Anyway, so uh, we got past that. We got to a point where it looked really bad. And that's when I went to get the haircut from the yeah. Jude's barbershop, right? The first time. What barbershop? what it's shop? called? Floyd's? Floyd's, yeah. Floyd's, okay. So I got my uh, haircut. And then it looked so bad because it had just grown completely out from being shaved. And uh, when my hair starts to flip in the back or gets like a the little long. Bragley goobers. I call it the Bragley goobers. And Kirsten does goobers. love her husband when he's got the Bragley goobers. But Bragley goobers. It's annoying to me. I don't know. I'm just so used to having. I mean, not really anymore. I'm used to having this hair now. Yeah. Like it almost you would feel bad if that's the last it time when I cut weird it. If it like yeah. was buzzed, but yeah. So it anyway, it will I'm, look weird. Yeah, that's okay. I'm comfortable <laughs> with um, having a buzzed head. So if it happens to the point where Kirsten's uh, hair cutting so skills bad. are, um, yeah, unsavable, then we'll just shave it off, and that's fine too. Yep. So yeah. That's what we're doing outside. Primarily, it was like we, I I wanted Kirsten to shave my head. We needed to podcast two for one. Mm-hmm. Then we can move on with our day. Yeah, 
I think yeah. this is a good idea. I like that. And then you could even unbox your thing out here. Yeah, we'll see if we even get to that. And it's fine if that doesn't happen. I'm okay with making that a separate thing too. But That's fine. We'll see. I like how initially you were like, you could cut my hair while I'm unboxing it. And mm-hmm. I'm like, in my mind, I was like, how is that even possible? Like, that does not make sense Well, at the haircut all. might not turn out great, but that's okay. Well, I, see, that's there's a pressure on me because if I mess your hair up, you're going to... You're, you're shaving it and it would take so long for it to get to where it is. I just don't think I would do it again. Grow it out? Mm-hmm. What? If I shaved it off, I think I would keep it shaved again. Because the growing out part is the worst part. Oh. What? You, you're you acting like you don't like my head <laughs> shaved when you Sorry. only knew me with a shaved I know, head. I know, <laughs> I know. I'm just me. so used to it long now, though. I like it. It's not, I was mm. looking at the picture inside next to our bed, the one from Brian and Chelsea's wedding where your head is shaved mm. and your face looks so small. Yeah. And then I looked really small, too, back then even. I was like... That was, yeah, that was vegan-only diet times. Yeah. We looked gaunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gaunt. But yeah, I don't know. Hair is fine too. I'm okay with it now. Yeah. Especially because I'm at home a lot because yeah. of this quarantine. So it doesn't matter what if your it's hair looks up. like, anyways. Yeah. yeah. I was excited about cutting it though again last time. Last time after I cut it, I was like, I think I have a better idea of how I'm going to do this. Yeah. And I still think I know what I'm going to do this time. Yeah. It's just when I went freestyle. Yeah, the one <laughs> freestyle <laughs> hit was a, that was rough to come back from, but <laughs> it's okay. Literally, yeah. no one's seen it since then because we've been two months in home. Right. I guess that was like a month and a half right. ago or so. And there's but. like no one else here really. So yeah. just Kyle and my mom. And the grocery store people. Groceries. I wonder if, I mean, people must be able to hear the birds and stuff. I can hear it pretty well on my headphones. It's pretty neat. Does it bother you? No, I like it. Tweet, tweet. No. Do you remember, Bird. Be like, uh, Bird. I think it was like episode 13 or something, burping crickets. Oh, yeah. Those are most listened to episode and it had crickets in the background the entire time wow and we burped a lot so (laughs) i guess that probably had something to do with it too we could burp again today i cannot yeah i can't either i cannot uh but yeah so that's what we're doing outside also it is a really nice day it's like been raining on and off it was raining while i set this stuff up but we do have a overhang on our patio yeah I like this. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, that's biased. Well, it's because summertime, yeah. and so we can film out here quite often. Yeah. But Unless I, you I were mean, just I like yeah the backyard setup that we have. For well, like how it appears oh on yeah. the camera. No, it's fun. A lot of wood. Cool. Nice back background. Yeah. And those are, th- I like this fence over here. Like, you can tell the mm-hmm. one directly behind us is, like, all newer. And then this fence over here is a little bit more aged. I like the color of it. Me too. It's and more experienced. I love the green tree too. I mean, you can kind of see, not really so much in the video, but like oh, it's pretty back here because it's so dark and Probably. gray. We'll and be then able to see a little bit of that. Little sprouty Sprouty tree. boys. Yeah. Sprouty, sprouty tree. Sprouty, sprouty tree. Sprouty, sprouty tree. So should we just like tree. jump right into sprouty, it? Sprouty, sprouty tree. I'm down. I'm May ready. as well because yeah. it's going to take a little while and then we can just wrap her. Um, okay, so while that's going on, I will turn your mic volume off. I think this is the right one. No, I do the back first, right? Yeah, with this one. No, I do with this. Oh, bear. Okay, I don't know why I'm telling you what to do. Do you? Okay, yeah, I don't want to take my shirt off, so. Can you put your chair in a little bit, though? Yep, happy to. All right. Well, you're going to hear a little bit of hair cutting going on. This is uh, the Salon Chronicles. Salon Cron. Kristen, what are you doing back there first? Uh, uh, So we watched a video the first time we cut your hair, and the lady was like, find out the bottom of the hairline, and then you just do like a straight line across, but you got to like walk your way around. So it's not like a weird, uneven thing. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and last time you thought I went too high up, but I didn't. But you said you did a little bit. Maybe. So, got to be weary. So it begins. That one already felt high. You know, I really like a haircut. I usually hope that it turns out well, but it's okay. You can't move. Am I moving too much? Okay. okay. Yeah. In other news, I got my business cards in for the business I started. I don't know how much of this you'll hear over the uh, clippers, but that's okay. Does anybody watch this anyway? Does anybody listen to this anyway? Mm-hmm. Not really. That's okay. So, I got... Ooh! A <laughs> little cracky. <laughs> Mark McGuire, because it cracked so hard. There's one spot where it's a little... A little higher? Well, only because it's like uneven there, but it's fine. That's good. That's good. Good job. That's good. It's a little uneven there, but you're fine. A little uneven. Okay. okay. We're good. So, first part, hardest part, maybe. And then we also learned last time that it helps to just keep the things on. So, like, I think I went freestyle thinking that I'd be able to chop some stuff a little bit. But you just use the different uh, the different levels and go up as you go. You know, like, just kind of do this and then you're good. And yeah, larger clippers. Hey, John. Hey, with your baby. Well, I'm sorry. It's a sweet puppy. And there goes a chunk. Ooh. Yeah, it probably would have helped if I showered, but that's a tough one because whenever you <laughs> she's fighting. Whenever you uh Oh my god, look at the hair just getting everywhere. Oh, why is it so windy? Uh I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Babe, do you know what I was talking about there? I got sidetracked with myself because the hair was flying everywhere. I don't remember. She doesn't remember. All right. For any of those, for any of you who are frustrated that I forgot what I was talking about, I'm sorry. And you could probably write me or message me or tell me later, like, hey... This is what you were talking about. (laughs) And then I'll say, I have no idea what that is. That's probably where the conversation will end, unfortunately, but. You're going to stop talking? No, I'm just saying, like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what. uh, I don't know what I was talking about is all I was. (laughs) I was expressing in detail that. I have no idea what I was saying. This is the biggest one, right? The longest length? What? No. Yeah. What one? Yeah. No. Number two? Yeah. No. There's like a number four in there. Oh, I'm just trying to make a shift. What do you mean? This is what we need. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so funny. You like? Real time. So actually, the last time that Kirsten shaved my head uh, or cut my hair like this, we did record it. We didn't record it like this, but we recorded it on video. And then I moved it to a hard drive. Then I dropped the hard drive. So it's gone. Forever. Or until I spend a lot of money to have it recovered. If that's even possible. But, you know, who knows? Sometimes it's just not that important. But what is important, and what I didn't finish talking about earlier, which is not the thing that I forgot what I was talking about, because I know that I started talking about this, and then moved to something else, and then I liked talking about that, and then I forgot what I was talking about. But what I was talking about... I'm going to take progress pictures from behind. It looks so funny. Nice. What I uh, 
do remember talking about was business cards. So luckily, because it's sitting here probably, I got that finished. Story to record. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's a slaughter. Oh, uh, it's so good. It looks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, anyway, there's the back of it. Nice and simple. Got the QR code on there. Pretty cool. Thick. Yeah, I like that. Red border. It's pretty awesome. So anyway, I'm excited about that. Got my name and all that. Business phone. P.O. box. Sorry, um, is this off? Yeah. Do you want it on? You kind of look <laughs> like a fancy boat boy. Boat boy? <laughs> Like I wear boat shoes? Nice. I've always wanted to be able to wear boat shoes. I've never wanted boat shoes, but for whatever reason, I feel like I was just never quite Banana Republic enough. Neither am I. I think we should just leave it like this because we can see your mug. I guess we We could. Banana Republic. They're always so clean cut and proper and appear wealthy appear wealthy because that's what's important these days yeah oh let's start oh <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah Ooh, <laughs> that's fun <laughs> yeah um but no i i also am like very much against wearing shoes without socks so i couldn't be a boater it just wouldn't work The three. the three is three is a little bigger than the two or bigger than the three. Okay, because then you okay, got it. Yep. So next we move on to the three. Kirsten shaves my head. Got a lot of people out there with their hair pretty well long and I don't know. People who wish they could get their hair cut, but they're waiting for this quarantine to be over. Well, and sometimes I wonder, is hair that important? Okay. To a lot of people, yes. And I mean, I don't hate on that. But there are a lot of people who wish they could get their hair cut, but they also don't trust their wife who doesn't cut hair to cut their hair. And, you know, what are you going to do about that? I just knew that I wanted a haircut because I was growing the braggly goobers. And when the Bragley goobers come, it's time for the hair to go. So I knew it was time. I'm pretty confident Kirsten didn't really want to do this today. But what? since it's in with the podcast, it just makes sense. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is an easy uh, thing. That's careful, fun. careful. My water careful around my water there is hair everywhere yeah my hands are dry huh that's like one of my fatal flaws and i guess not fatal in the way that it kills me last time it's gonna be so much better is that because you're not just taking scissors to the side of my head exactly yeah i agree i'm already more confident Everything is good. The weather's nice. I got my wife cutting my hair. I got a sweet little pup down on the ground over there looking cute. Stimulus check in the bank. <laughs> Stim- Stimulus check in the bank. <laughs> Stim- Stimmy check in the bank. Yeah, this is good. And lots of free food. Oh, yeah. Kirsten's been really crushing it with work lately, and they have this program where... It's a referral thing if she gets enough business with a new new client they give Kirsten and the client gift cards sorry yeah I shouldn't just blow right into the mic like that sorry for you guys in your ears but it's looking so good I'm so excited and this is like so much quicker than last time so this is nice and quick, so that way I can sit, and then you don't have to awkwardly talk into the <laughs> mic yourself. 
Oh, okay. Sorry, you sound like you're struggling. You're like, ah, there is hair in my water. There is water in my hair. No, it's fine. Is that water you are drinking? Yeah. <laughs> Sticking to it. Wow, this is so much easier, I think, than people expect it to be. Let me move over here so you can see me real quick. Sorry that we're getting here everywhere. We'll take my blow dryer and just like blast it. Um, but this is a lot easier. Like once I like last time, just kind of like freestyling it. I think if you start at like the bigger clip, um, the smaller clip, sorry, and just like go right up the back. The the video that we watched originally, the lady was talking about how the head is like you'll see where there's that like natural like when you reach the top, like that's where you wanna let it be a little longer mm -hmm. you hit that top point and so i just did that like right up the sides and it just goes naturally like up right you are quickly becoming a hairstylist you're literally never gonna have to go get your hair cut again if you keep it this way which is like one of the main reasons why i s why i started shaving my head we should have wrapped a towel around you sorry i think we did that last time i don't think we did but i thought about doing it this time and i forgot <coughs> But I also didn't shower yet. So it don't matter. So it don't matter. Don't matter. These clothes are already dirty. Don't, don't matter. matter. Yeah. I'm so excited. This is so much fun today. Is it? Yeah. Like when I actually, I was a little nervous, but I think that like when I realize how easy it is to do, it's like so much more fun. I just want to cut it all over again. Well, you will. I still have to, I mean, I still got to do the top. So. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. That takes a different skill. And my hair is not wet. Typically, they uh, advise you to use a little spray bottle or something, but it's greasy enough. It's greasy enough. We freestyle here. Okay. Hmm? Is it? I know you used sizz on ta last tie. Sizz on the ta. Oh, yeah, that happened last time, huh? Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's not supposed to do that, but. Yeah. Nope, it happened before, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's only happened when you've had it in your hands, so <laughs> I'm not sure how it's happening, but it's okay. Still works, and we're back at it. Flying across the back of the head. Moving at Millennium Force. Protect the drink. It's Saturday. <laughs> Sorry, got a little reckless. It's just a thing. It's, it's just like one of these up here. But actually, it might be all right. Sorry. I don't know. Don't they say to like shave it like all the way up? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. I don't know. Neither of us are hairstylists. Then Matt. I think if I just show up, if somebody sees me after this long of being in quarantine and they're like, oh, well, he's got a haircut, it's probably going to be more like, wow, his hair is cut. And maybe less like, wow. That haircut looks like it may not have been done by a professional. But at the same time, I trust my lady. Trust her to cut the hairs. Sorry, I'm so focused on this. Uh, I was never diagnosed with ADD or ADHD, but pretty confident that it exists. I guess I could just use another wind screen and throw this one away.
I'm pretty happy with that. Take a look. I left it a little long on the top. I might get the side here. Sorry, do I'm gonna get my hair dryer and just like blast you with it. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm pretty pleased. I think that's looking pretty good. And this is like the last time I cut your hair. I came back in a couple of times though and even just like cut with some scissors and stuff like Yeah, let's we'll sit here. I'll jump back in and Okay. Thanks, B. Cool. Well, it's mostly done though. Like I the back is nice and trimmed, the top's a little long still, but it looks good. Yeah, and that's okay too. It's really like the sides and the back that bother me the most, yeah. I would say. So No, I, I think it turned out really well this time actually. People will be like, Wow, look at that. Cool. Such a good job. Yeah. Well, thanks, baby. I appreciate yeah. it. I uh I trust you, you know. I don't like I don't need to get closer or mm -hmm. look at myself in a mirror to be like, Okay, it does look good. I will take your word for it. Last time I think I took scissors and did like the finger thing and chopped, mm -hmm. but I think, I think it looks better where it's a little bit longer up top. And like, you know, you'll be able to look at it when we're yeah. done and determine if you want it shorter or if that's okay. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Like, like I said, it's usually the sides and the back that tend to bother me. Just oh, the... Look, I'm covered in here too, but the shirt is like super, like soft oh my god this is such a good shirt nice. what a great purchase yes but it really picks up the hairs and a few more things coming on monday yeah 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 shorts. we bought yeah a couple more pair well i bought some more shorts because i don't really have many anyways that's the thing i mean even with jeans and stuff i always wear the same ones over and over again so when it came time to buy more jeans like now i have so many like available and optional for me to use you know what i mean jeaned up i mean most of the time i feel like most of the year here is jean weather so it'll serve you well Meh. you don't think so no i feel like i wear shorts most of the time oh you do yeah but like if you had to go out yeah i don't know what else is new? We got we got our little baby ham, some steps for the bed, mm -hmm. and a new bed. Yeah, her leg's been, her I don't know. I mean, something. I haven't heard her yelp or cry about it lately. She's definitely cautious and still doesn't want to jump up onto our bed. But yeah. I will continue to argue that it's the rug that's right next to our bed that slips when she tries to jump off of it. So uh, we keep leaving that rug there which there's nowhere else to put it but um we've been moving the ottoman from the living room next to our bed for her to jump on and then she can jump up onto the bed but kirsten got the uh stairs coming yeah so that'll be good you see that hair floating in there do you want me to get it yeah it's like right in the middle there you go thanks b so yeah, uh, that'll be nice for Rock her. Stairs. She's been like <laughs> cautious about jumping onto the yeah. couch. Um, but a couple of weeks ago she was, or a w one week ago, a week and a half ago. My sister jumped on her. <laughs> yeah, but even before that she was like cautious about jumping. But then she started, uh, she was roughhousing with her sister. And um, that's when like she yelped, I think the first time. Yeah. But either way, we've been, like, really cautious with her. And usually on the weekends, I like to take her to a park and just run, like, throw the stick. And then she chases it. And then I chase her. And then she runs faster. But last weekend, we just took a long, normal walk both days. And then t today, this morning, I took her to the park. We did little runs. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I don't know. I would have to watch video of her running, like, before we knew she was hurt to make yeah. sure that it's similar but it looked a little off and then uh we ran just a little bit and then i let her dig in the sand pit mm -hmm. and then she like i, I let her be off leash because no one else was around so we we're just like walking around the park with her in front mm -hmm. of me like 10 feet and she kept turning around to look at me and stuff but at one point she like 
sprinted up to me and got down in her little crazy <laughs> stance and then bugged out and sprinted away like I was supposed to chase her. <laughs> but she was running like completely normal. Yeah. And that was after I threw the stick and after she... That's what so I'm, I'm like, maybe she just needed to warm up and feel comfortable. Well, what I'm saying, like with the whole jumping on the bed thing, I think that she hurt herself one day when we weren't around. Like maybe she's done this before where she tries to jump up and then she smacks like into because our bed's pretty yeah. off the ground you know and she yeah, like high. just doesn't believe she can jump but she's always been that way like her sister will just jump over the bed of like a truck she'll just poop and then Jude's just not as confident but <laughs> I think like she hurt herself one she time heard you say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so now she's like cautious she's like I don't yeah. want it because she's afraid she's not going to make it and she could have hurt herself really bad one time and now it just makes it even harder to do it. And she's also a big baby. Like she is she, a big baby, yeah. I remember taking her to the dog park when she was little tiny baby once and she was sprinting around and then she like tripped up over her legs and she was like gree, gree. and then as soon as you and she'll do this on a walk sometimes if she like just walks weird and hurts herself. And not like hurts herself, but just like twists a leg or something. And then she'll start like looking at me like this. And I'm like, oh, are you okay? And then she like really like yeah. eh. so- soaks it up. Yeah, she definitely is a big old baby. So, <laughs> well, that's the hard thing too. And Kirsten's got the furbo out. Oh, that was so funny. Just today. And it like we were at the grocery store. And so Kirsten got this alert saying that Jude was barking. And uh, you looked at the video and she was just. In the window, howling, really. Yeah. And uh, poor baby, but she does that. It hurts my heart to see. Yeah. I'm but like, she oh, she just misses us so much, and <laughs> we're just at the grocery store. She cries like that, which is funny because I never really knew that was a thing. Remember? Um, I think maybe Nick was here once, and he said she was crying like that. And then there was the yeah, day yeah. where you went to Kyle. work, and I had slept in the basement oh, yeah. or something because I was fighting with you. And yeah, Kyle notices it too. But I heard her upstairs crying like that. And I was like, what? She was so happy to see me. She was like, I didn't know you were here. Yeah, poor baby. She doesn't like the sirens. She needs us. Yeah, neither do I. Yeah. But I'm so pleased with the haircut. I feel like it looks pretty good. Thanks, B. That was fast. Yeah, that was. I, I looked at the time thinking, because last time, last time was really fun, though. We laughed so hard last time. And we were just yeah, having we a blast. Today was more like, all right, I know how to do it. We're going to get it done. <laughs> pretty impressive. I mean, the speed at which you moved down. But, yeah, you, you kind of took a different approach last yeah. time, I think. With the scissors, yeah. thinking it would be easy to do that. But yeah. it's, I, you know, I, before having to cut your hair, even the first time, like, the people that do it, it just takes, like, 10 minutes. And, you know, they charge, the, what, like, 30 bucks to do yeah. it, something like that. And yeah. I'm like, that looks so easy. But now I get it. Like, there is a little bit of, you know, there's some skill that takes... You have to be able to know what you're doing to cut someone's hair. Yeah. Well, At we all know hair. that. Yeah. Like it takes, definitely takes some skill. But when I get my hair cut, because I'm not doing like fades or whatever, you know, I'm not making it fancy. Just like I ask for the standard generic male haircut. And uh, most of the time, especially if I go to a place that's like, Floyd's where it's a chain and I just see somebody like not the same person every time just whoever's available (laughs) most of the time it's small talk yeah it's like it's okay you could just get me in and out cut my hair real fast and I'll leave that's like that's I don't feel like I'm missing out but I think maybe that's part of it just like well if I just really quickly clipper his hair and then cut a few places it might be harder to like make it seem like it's worth thirty dollars or oh, something were we talking about that on the last podcast right like where people like um unlocking yes. the window like yeah. where they have to really yeah locksmiths this is such a struggle mm-hmm. this is a tough one yeah yes i think right so here. maybe there's something to that or just like if i can chat with them and build a better relationship then they'll tip me more like more time to establish a rapport oh wow did i just give myself that grease mohawk yeah you did wow nasty no it's nice it's really long so if you want me after like you shower if you want me to take some off the top i think it looks really good kirsten thinks it looks really good if you think it looks really good that's all that matters right (laughs) 
My head looking good. My wife cuts my hair and she's not a barber. Nice. Thanks. That's so good. Thanks, babe. Thanks, babe. Quick clean up. Yeah. Number one. Yeah, your left side there was looking a little scraggly still, and it was like longer over here. Oh uh, yeah, giving me the Trump. That's right. That's what Trump. I. That's what's been happening. I've been getting like the Trump <laughs> crossover and the Bragley that's goobers on the side. It's funny because like your hair is just so greasy that it just kind of conforms to where you put it. So. Oh, that's gonna slam. Uh, uh, sorry, John. Okay, what are you doing? Sorry, sorry, you can fix it. Yeah, just talk. <laughs> Thank you. There, it's good. It's very good. I'm so impressed. I'm, I just cut your hair forever now. Wow. And just like that. Just like that. Got a new uh, arrangement. Thanks, B. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. How has this last week been for us? It's been a stressful week. Work was really stressful this week. It's been busy. Everybody wants food right now, or at least the gift of food to employees or random whatever. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been busy. Yeah. You. I've been okay. Very busy. I've been doing so stuff, busy. but I'm okay. We put together I'm all done with class. Chairs. Yeah, I got lounge chairs. They're so dope. Did I talk yeah. about that last time? Had we had I bought them at that point? I think so, because we did this on Saturday last week, right? And you put them together Friday last week. Yeah. They came in Friday morning. Yep, that's right. So maybe we talked about them, but they are awesome, and yeah. they're right there. And you are done with class. Sorry. Yeah, those yep. chairs are super nice. It's It's been really nice. Um, I mean, work was really busy this, this last week, so I didn't get to sit in the sun very long. And you might not be able to tell from the camera, maybe, but I'm pretty tan. Yeah. You're tan I think too. they can tell. I think they can tell. But yeah. You're tan. But yeah. Class is done. I had a final right? test, like a take home test uh, that's due on Monday. Today is Saturday, but I got it done on Wednesday, I think. So that's been a relief, just like having everything done for this class. And then I get a week off, I believe. And then I have two more classes left. Uh, and then at the end of August, I'll be graduating. So that's really exciting. Oh, oh, nice. So much better now, right? Yeah. Looks really good. Oh, yeah. But yes, um, how many? You said you had two classes? Two classes, yep. I paid. Two classes. Adult trauma and mental health policy. Ha <laughs> ha, kiss. When kiss. <laughs> That was nice. Yeah. She worth it. That was cute. She says, I don't know what this is, but I kiss. I am a star now. I <laughs> PP is worshiping me. Stars. Give me my bone. <laughs> Give me bone. Wow. What, what a good fun. baby. Yeah, she's a good girl. I think she really loves how much we've been outside yeah. lately. Uh -huh. We've just been like working outside at this table <laughs> and everything. And yeah. She's nice just time. chilling out. Her dad is home all the time mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. She did I read that like animals are getting depressed as humans go back to work and stuff that like the when that happens they're going to be like actually physically depressed because of it. <laughs> Not ours because you still work from home. Yeah, but she's lucky. She'll and she miss loves you, you more. Yeah, she might. But I'll miss her more than she'll miss me. That's just how it's going to be. When you go back, I wonder if I will work from outside as much or if I'll yeah. s stay inside. I don't know. I think it just depends you on what's going will. on. You probably will. Yeah, that's fair. I feel I like it's wait. just like more comfortable sitting at a table and having everything set up That's too. True. But we haven't like we could be watching TV and working, but yeah, we really yeah, haven't. Like, we've yeah. we've maybe like turned on ninety gay fiance. Yeah, like ni like three total episodes in the six weeks or whatever that I've yeah. been here. And it's not like we also are sitting there staring at the television. Right. It's like we're doing activities and then like it'll be on in the background we hear something funny we laugh and like you get a call i get a call pause mm -hmm. like we actually yeah on the very same page and i've had a lot of calls lately so i don't even get to really sit i'm just kind of like 
which is fine. I mean, we're finding other stuff to do and I, yeah. I don't normally watch TV at work anyway, so right. it's, yeah. It's all good, but mm-hmm. that's been sitting out here and working from home has been really nice. You okay? Yeah, I just hit my elbow oh. so like right on the edge of the funny Ow. bone spot, so it wasn't like I've been playing a lot of video games lately. And you're going to do that tonight, too. Yeah. And I'm going to watch so many scary movies. I didn't even finish that scary movie I popped on last night. I really wanted to, but I fell asleep pretty hard. I yeah. just was too drowsy. I was like, I really want to watch the end of this. How late did you stay up last night? 12, I think. 12? Maybe 12.30 again. So not long after I fell asleep, I'm assuming. I peeked in. Saw that you were out. Yeah, no. I mean, like, you when you walked back from the bathroom with the uh, sleep mask on. Oh, yeah. I went to bed pretty soon after that one. But you were asleep already. This is so fun and for me. And the TV was off when I came in. Yeah, out. I turned it yeah. off and the fan on and everything. But um, I think when we were in, like, normal routine lives, like, you would always fall asleep before me. Mm-hmm. And I like that I get to go to sleep before you a lot now. Like, even on nights where you're still playing video games till, like, 10 on a weeknight sort of thing, sometimes I'm falling asleep before you, and I love that. I love that feeling. Like, I was always like, oh, you went to sleep, and I'm just sitting here awake, and I don't know. I like going to sleep first. That's interesting, yeah. because I feel nothing in you regards. You don't care. Yeah, yeah whatever. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... I've been having fun staying up late. Yeah. We've the nice thing about playing video games is like all of the, well, maybe not all of, but a lot of the people who I'm like cl- really close to in life, Josh, yeah, Garrett, Pear Bear, like they all play video games. So those are like the only people who I play with. My friends list is just like my closest people. So it's nice being uh, states away. And Jesse and Bailey, too. Jesse and Bailey, yeah. I mean, I could go on and on. Right. but uh, Not really, because they're just your close friends that you play with. Yeah, true. I, but I guess if I meant on and on as like on being one more example and on being another example, yeah. I would say Zach and then my stepbrother Aaron. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I get to play with a lot of these good goods family and friends so it's nice because we're apart everyone doesn't like none of us live near each other really but we're able to socialize and joke and gig i know that um it sounds like jesse and bailey is still working um is your brother and like are your friends are they all still going to work and stuff or did they yeah that's good yep josh is still working aaron i don't know um I don't think so right now, but I'm not sure. Uh, and then, yeah, Zach is learning how to brew now at the brewery where he works. So, yeah, seems like everybody demos in the Army. So he's still in the Army. There's parts of you inside of me now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just drinking the hair. There's some that are so small I'm not picking them out. But like well. Hair. Anyway, video games are fun. I win a lot. That's whatever. It's cool, though. Even if my wife doesn't care. I'm trying to get you a PlayStation, but... Whatever. My PlayStation's gonna blow up. It's like... On the verge of taking off. No. No. Um, I could have bought a new one a million years ago, and I didn't. When you talk about video... like playing games and stuff i just even if i like really got into it who knows if that would be a thing but i you have your thing you like to play games yeah you like to talk to your friends yeah i like to sit and watch scary movies but you resent me because i play video games no not always i got (laughs) mad at you the other day because i just felt like you haven't been contributing in quarantine and i was just really mad and annoyed not fair i was like you sure, babe? Because we could just hang out. I don't need to play this. And Kristen says, "I was like, no, it's no, fine. do it." You're getting used to quarantine. Yeah, because I'm always working from home or whatever, and so you're just adjusting to the being able to work from home all the time. And you know, because what was it like? I was talking about how 
my like I was cleaning and doing stuff and you were just like should I help and I was like no enjoy your quarantine time quarantine time because that's you know again like I'm I'm just already in my routine I already work from home so I already know the things I need to do within my free time but you you know you're still adjusting to it and I was at that that day that moment I was like no it's fine keep playing I'll keep cleaning I thought to myself I'm gonna be pissed later about this and then I woke up the next day just feeling a little annoyed and I was like, I kind of want to strangle him, but then well, we were on. both mad Pause. at each other. Because you said all that nice stuff about me adjusting and yeah, take the time and In have fun. Mind, and I said, you can't use that against me then. And you're like, I won't. <laughs> and then hours later, it was over. My hours fun, later. Right? It was the next day. Was it I the next day? Mad. Yeah, yeah it, okay. I well, finally got mad about something. You got mad. Fun was ended. I, we were just mad that day, though. The next day, I remember going to sleep, not saying goodnight or anything, mm-hmm. just like going to bed. Mm-hmm. Didn't talk to you much. I ate the ice cream maliciously. You didn't care. You were like, whatever. I was trying to hurt your heart. Mm-hmm. And then the next day, good. we woke up. We went and got cheese curds. Did we get cheese curds that day? No, no. What did we do? We were, we were over there. Maybe well, we, we went were at. To oh, we got bones for John. Yeah. Bon- and we, we just ran, ran errands. Yep. yep. Target, and Home we Depot. Like, I'm not mad at you. You're like, I'm yeah. not mad at me. Or whatever. I'm not mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and that was that, though. I mean, we got yeah. over pretty fast. We don't, yeah. yeah. We just hang out all the time anyways and do our little things. Scary shows to decompress. And then you like to kill people on the video game. So it's kind of similar in a way. Yeah. Yeah. We got our things. And I'm excited yeah. to do those things. It's Saturday. I know. It is Saturday, which sucks. I was thinking, it was funny, I was talking to Curtis at work. I was like, my vacation was coming up. I was just telling Courtney about this last night, too, because, like, it would have been two and a half-ish weeks from now that we'd be going to Mm, Disney. Right. Labor Day or, no, Memorial Day weekend. And I was thinking maybe just taking, like, half a week off anyways. Just like, hey, I'm going to take some time off. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I guess that would be kind of hard to do, though. I feel like they'd be like, well, where are you going? You can't really go anywhere. You've been at home anyways. I don't know. I think for my mental health, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The sake of how crappy work has been with some of the just nonstop. And then on top of that, like all of these crazy clients, not all of them, actually all of them are pretty nice. Just these ones that are like, I didn't sleep the other night cause I was so stressed out, but it'd be nice to take like a day or two off, you know, a long you weekend. Could. But it's kind of right. like the weekend anyways, you know, we just hang out all night after work and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just, I mean, I'm not going to be working from home for probably much longer. So that really? adjustment's going to be strange. Yeah, I don't like that. They should just let you work from home forever, save money on an office and know, do what right? you do. Like I know. On your gift, or on your, not your gift card. Um, your, uh, yeah. What is that called? Business card. Business card. Um, you, I saw that you had the address on there, but that's like your PO box. So it's not like a physical address. It's right. just like where things go yep. when they inquire, or send mail, whatever. Mm-hmm. So why can't you guys do that for your job? Why they couldn't they one. just? Yeah, well, they just put that on stuff, and that's the office. You know, like it that's used that. to be like that. Yeah, but I don't run things. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I I learned that because the place where I work, they have two offices, and they. Uh, ended the lease for one of the offices. That's twelve thousand dollars a year saved. So twelve thousand a year. Mm-hmm. What was that? A, a thousand month? a month, or twelve months in a year. That's a lot. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Whatever. So, uh, I mean, that's a lot. And if you did that with the other one, even if it's the same amount, twenty four thousand dollars a year, you like, why wouldn't you just have people work from home? So yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's a beautiful really cool. squirrel. That is nice. I like its leg warmers. Two tone. But I also heard that uh, we might be getting an office around here. That would so be really nice. That would be good, but who knows? Who knows? Who who knows? Also got this business stuff to be busting out. So whenever things cool down, gotta get out there and put the work in you know mm-hmm. 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 what are you thinking B you want to go what time is it how long have we been doing this for 49 and a half minutes 
We could talk for 10 more minutes. I've been having fun. Sorry, I just got sucked into my phone there for a minute when you were talking about, like, your work work. And I just kind of zoned out. And I was like, wow, this is really boring. You were doing that first. Okay. Well, that's fine. Whatever. It was boring. I don't, I couldn't tell you. That's funny. Uh, It reminds me of the time that you're like, I listened to all your shit. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, but not always. Yeah. No. (laughs) Your dreams and everything. (laughs) Dreams. Yeah. It's the worst. (laughs) It's the worst. (laughs) I try to go to a different place, but. (laughs) (laughs) This is the worst. That's funny. I've told you that before, though. I know. You you don't like. Yeah, Yeah, I know. I still. (laughs) But so dreams are so intriguing. And I get it. There's like an episode of Sunny where um, I feel like Dennis and Dee. I can't remember who's talking to who about it. But like, I listen to all your hopes and dreams. Like, that's what, you know, a brother or sister is for. And um, yeah, I, I when you think about dreams. Sorry, this is like elaborating on this thought process here. They're very interesting. But like to me, you know, like I what I'm doing and. When it involves you, of course, I want to tell you because it's you in the dream, you know? And so to me, it's fun. But I guess you can't really visualize it when I talk about it because it yeah. all sounds very wonky. Yeah. You're and it didn't slots. happen. So, yeah, I mean. You were playing slots. But I wasn't. But you were. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool if I actually was. <laughs> but Maybe it was me yeah. feeling bad that I don't get to go on vacation and... I'm just stuck with you in quarantine. Just kidding. Yeah. It's not torture. No, it's not. I'm a good man. Yeah. No, you put up with so much shit. I'm the and worst. And I put out so little shit. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just telling you I'm a good man. <laughs> <laughs> That's like you talking about how when I get mad at you or like I'm upset about something and then you talk about how when you get mad at me, you just like put it in a place <laughs> and just put it deep down. Yeah. Just I swallow you know, it. Um, yeah, I know. I have, but that's <laughs> 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 it's funny, but it's <laughs> not funny. You need to vent somehow. No. You need to. I play video games. That's fine. Uh, probably <laughs> after I go to bed, like that's when you take the time to be like, "Wow, Kirsten was a real B today." <laughs> <laughs> no, you're always <laughs> listening. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. I re- I really just I turn the furbo off. Okay, yeah, so I'm I not. Don't care. Actually. I just really don't like. I just don't let things bother me. If you if you do something and I'm upset, I just know that like talking about it to other people like that isn't going to help right. with anything. It's like. Our, if we have a problem, the only way to solve it is for us to talk about it together. Yeah. And if we're not talking, then I just watch YouTube videos on my phone on the couch. Yeah, you're never mad at me, but you don't vocalize it. Are there times where I do things that you're actually really mad and you just don't say anything? Sometimes. But it's usually not like I'm actually mad. It's what just like it a though? double standard thing sometimes. Oh. So like... You'll do something or you'll say something mean to me. And then like I think, like, real if I said I the you? same thing to her, she would be so mad. But. Oh, look, it's Kyle. Kyle's home. But yeah. So, anyway, I mean, I don't get, like, angry ever. Yeah. So. Sometimes I just get jealous. Jealous? Yeah. That I can be mad at you and you can never be mad at me? Yeah. And then, like, when you're mad at me, it ruins my day, but that's okay. And if I were to get mad at you, you just turn it around on me. I think, oh, that's what I was thinking of this <laughs> I morning. I came in. I was <laughs> came in. Kirsten was working out. I yeah. came into the garage. I had a piece of hair <laughs> on my tongue, and I had stuff in my hand, so I was trying to like. Yeah, it was so annoying because you burped real loud before you did that, and then I was already annoyed by your burp, and then you started making these dumb yeah, tongue noises. Yeah, I was noises. in there for like <laughs> ten seconds, and Kirsten's like, "I'm sorry, that's really annoying," <laughs> and. uh I thought, like, wow, if I said that to you, you would, would walk not, out no and way. you would be quiet and upset. There are times, though, when you do annoying things and I just want to work out alone. And I tell you that. I'm like, leave me alone. Just let yeah. me work out by myself. Nice. Oh, my God. Ice cream. That one looks really good. I like the cherry dipped ones. Yeah. Is that orange? Orange dip? Ew. Butterscotch. Butterscotch. He's a grandma now. Nice. Old person swag. 
Kyle's home with the butterscotch get droppers. Get some of that ice cream. Wow. What a fat oh, ass. Oh, wow. She's you're dripping it all over the place. She's nice turning shoes. into a cow, too, just you so like you know. like his shoes? I yeah. bought those. Those are very nice. The Nikes, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I've been... Oh. Welcome home. home. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I've been walking the pen, and she's been eating all the tall grass lately, so... That's her thing. She yeah. likes to eat the grass now. She's like a lawnmower. A little I lawnmower. I tried to tell her and remind her she's not a cow. She's a dog, but... You don't have to eat the grass, John. She doesn't really care. No, she just wants the ice cream cone. If that was my ice cream cone, I would have let her lick the top. Right yeah. off the top. I wouldn't, though, so... That's fine. I'm shouldn't do. <laughs> I gave her some ice cream. It's fine. Feel guilty. <laughs> no. That's fine. I no, that's fine. I like when I'm eating like any sort of good food. No, she didn't earn it. She's a little ham. Look at her. She did eat a bunch of ham earlier. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. you, you need your hair cut? I cut hair. Do you see his hair? I cut that. Oh, a bad reaction. <laughs> Nice. Do you not see his hair? I mean, I uh, I don't. <laughs> I haven't quite looked at <laughs> right it yet, so I'm not sure what it looks like. But <laughs> sideways. <laughs> but does his hair <laughs> look <headphones>. okay? <laughs> like, does it? It looks okay, right? It's yeah. like not uneven or anything. It's long on the top. It's very kind. Yeah. Cool. Very kind. Uh, the only difference is you're more balding than him. I think. Sorry, it just might be kind of hard to. Why would that be hard? I don't know. Would that? Probably. Yeah. But yeah, I just take the different. I do like the little on the back, and then you just do it like right up the back of the head. You do it up the sides, and then you can take the like the bigger sizes, and then you just do kind of like over. But you never like do like. You always keep it straight with the head. That seems reasonable. Facts. So if you change your mind and need a haircut, I will not mess. I will not mess it up. Okay. Well. All right. I'm giving people free haircuts now. Unless you're a lady, you can't do that. Free backyard haircuts. What do you think, B? Yeah, I'm good. All right. We'll see you in there. Well. Oh, okay. nice. Good we night. won't see you <laughs> in there. Good night. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. good. We can All right. go party. It's going to yeah. thunderstorm maybe. Actually, I should check the weather. It's Saturday. We have done what we need to do here. Thank you for watching or listening or whatever. Or if you stopped it already, that's Definitely okay. watch today because it's a good one. It's fun. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, If you, I guess if you're listening, you should have watched it or go back and watch it or whatever. I don't know. Episode 33, uh, I said at the beginning of episode 32, shout out to Shaq, and I was, I, re I said, maybe it that's. might be episode, or it might be number 34. I, like, part of me really felt like Shaq was 34, and I was right. Shaq oh, wow. was 34. So, shout out to Shaq for 32, <laughs> and shout out to Shaq for next week, 34. But we'll get there when we get there. Anyway, Larry Bird, I think, was 33. Someone told me if I'm wrong. But anyway, uh, that's episode 33. Thanks for cutting my hair, babe. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah.